All right, folks, what I wanted to talk about here is kind of show you exactly how we're kind of set up on this ledge. As you can see on the, on the Navionics, you can see where we are kind of off the ledge just a little bit. This ledge is running like this, so we're, we're just off of it. So meaning by off of it, we have the boat that's actually in the sandy part, and then you can see the ledge off in the distance on the underwater camera. What that does is what we've learned when we've gone hog fishing, especially on the camera, is those hogfish like to be away from, from the ledges. They like to, to be out in the open a, among the sand, the sea fans, things like that, because what they'll do is they'll root down in that sand and they'll find their, their food. And in this particular spot, we have caught a lot of hogfish. We've lost some hogfish to some sharks, as you'll see the sharks in the underwater footage. Uh, you'll see the, the hogfish swimming around. Matter of fact, guys, there are a couple of males down there, just to let you know kind of understanding this gives you a broader aspect of people ask me all the time do you set up right on the ledge or do you get off the ledge and I like if I'm fishing for hogfish I like to set up off the ledge because those fish seem to be out in the open more if I'm fishing for or for mangrove snapper I like to be right on the edge of the ledge so it just really depends on what you're targeting a lot of the grouper are also off the ledges until you start until you start hooking them and then they start getting uh, closer to those ledges or inside those ledges simply because they don't feel comfortable anymore. So when you go to set up on a spot like this, if you're wanting to target hogfish, definitely stay off the ledge just a little bit. You don't have to be off by a lot, but you want to be off in the area where you're dropping down into some open sand area and getting those hogfish to root down and eat. So like I said, we probably caught just in this spot alone, probably caught 15. We've lost, I think, five to sharks. So it's it's frustrating. You just got to deal with it. But uh, but take a look at this underwater footage and see what I'm talking about. You can see the ledge clearly off in the distance. You can see the hogfish swimming around in the open water. Hopefully, I did catch some on uh, on camera, which I think I probably did. So take a look at this footage so you get a better idea of what we're looking at and how we're fishing it. Chad, what? 
I can't even do that right today. No. no way. Huh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Nothing. All three. Katie got one. Mine is the red group. Huh? Don't stop. Keep turning the handle. We are doubled up. There's a red grouper. I think that's what I got too. Wet sock. Nope. Grunt. That's also one thing that you want. If you're catching grunts, then you you know that you're in the right area. You gotta you gotta work through the grunts to get to those hogfish. It gets frustrating times. You go through a lot of shrimp, but if you're patient, then you'll get into the hogfish because those grunts are creating a, a commotion down there, and it brings those other fish in. So always remember that when you're looking for hogfish, you definitely want to if you're catching. If you're catching porgies and you're catching strawberry grouper and grunts, you're in the right spot. Who's not catching anything? Well, you just caught that fish, grunt. that grunt, but... Yeah, you're having a rough day. I mean, I I, I honestly might be seeing a toilet, go, a golden toilet seat. And this this could be the first time ever that Chad wins the award. Because Tony's not on the boat today. But it's only it's only 11:44, oh, so. Well, still time to pull the nose up, but. Because you know me and Ernie stop fishing around 12, so. <laughs> what kind of fair weather fisherman are you? That, that's whenever Jack catches, catches up. I said then the fish don't have any choice but to go eat Chad's bait once we go to bed. Chad, are you gonna take that? You ain't got a choice right now. You ain't got a choice. <laughs> put up or shut up. Right now I gotta shut up because I ain't putting up. <laughs> But a lot of people ask us too, is where do we like to target our hogfish? In the mouth. Oh Lord. In the mouth. In right the mouth. Up. I tend to see have, I have a liking to go south of the um, pipeline. I just think that the harder bottom, the, the uh, limestone bottom where we catch a lot of, um, catch a lot of red grouper, I don't know what she's got. Trigger. But we like to fish a lot south of the pipeline, especially if we're targeting red grouper and hogfish. If we're catch if we're targeting gags, we typically like to go north of the pipeline. I don't fish the pipeline a lot simply because it gets it gets fished a lot. So I don't I try to fish areas that Well, I say that don't get fished a lot, but I mean they they probably get fished. I mean, with the with the technology we have today, it's hard not to have. I like to fish an area you've never fished. Yeah, I like to fish areas I've never fished. In this area, we we're now in an area where we have fished before. Earlier in the day, we were in some areas that we hadn't fished. We caught some fish, um, but now we're into sharks. So, chat. <laughs> it's still sinking. I ain't hit
Well, folks, it was another fun day in the water. We caught a lot of hogfish. I didn't film too, too much, but I just wanted to show you that underwater footage of what we're looking at and why we fish those areas for hogfish because you get off of the edge of the, the, the uh, ledge and as you saw, there's grouper up in the ledge. There was um, the, the snapper and the hogfish were all on the uh, kind of out away from the ledge. So that's one main thing that you want to look for is when you're fishing ledges like that, you want to be kind of off the ledge a little bit if you're targeting hogfish. Um, Chad and Ernie, how did you guys end up today? What? Keepers? Were you caught? Were you tied? No. I set an uh, all-time TBFC record today. Uh-huh. Um, I've got more hogfish in the cooler than... Wow. Do I smell a golden toilet seat award? I don't know. I think Maybe the I think you might after. have to have that. I don't win it because I'm the captain of the boat. You got oh. to remember I catch more fish than anybody else. Well, we all got to keep our hogs. Whoever, after after after. we all got to keep our hogs fish in the boat. So that is uh, yeah. that was our mission. So I don't think anybody gets it. Today. Okay. I guess no. Everybody fished good today, except for Kurt, uh, Katie and Ernie decided to take naps later in the day. As After usual, my right, right, Katie, Queen Katie, snapper, napper. snapper, napper. <laughs> but anyway, we just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions or anything else like that, please let us know. Also, thank you so much for all of the support at the bait shop. We really, really appreciate it. We're getting more and more customers as each day goes by. We have pinfish, we have white bait, we have shrimp all in stock, and we plan on keeping those in stock. So if you're looking for that kind of bait, we're trying to figure out the fiddler crabs. So bear with us on that. But again, thank you so much for the, the, the support. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.